What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the Nerf Fortnite Mega Hand Cannon. Or, as Nerf is calling it, the HC-E, which... Dash E, I, I don't know where Nerf is coming up with these names, but... Let's check this blaster out. Alright, you guys. So this is the newest to the line of Fortnite blasters. It is another mega blaster to go along with the tactical shotgun that I reviewed earlier. This is going to be a single shot pistol, but I think it could be pretty cool as I believe it's based off of the mega hot shock. I did a mod of that a while back, a long while back, and uh, it was pretty popular. Maybe we can see if we can do some things like that to this in the future, but... Let's get on with this review first and tackle that at a later date. But nevertheless, this is the HC-E. I'm not sure what the E stands for, but the HC stands for hand cannon. This is basically a Desert Eagle. Pretty darn sweet and excited for this thing. So let's go ahead and check out this box. Nothing much on the front. just says it comes with three Mega Darts. Back of the box is showing the blaster, that tactical shotgun that I reviewed earlier, and the RL which will be pretty sweet when it comes out and that should be out shortly we'll see if we do a review on that one but uh definitely looks pretty cool there so nothing much on the box let's crack it open all right you guys so that unboxing was about the simplest ever the blaster just literally slid right out of the box i didn't even have to cut any strings or tabs or anything and then you get your three mega darts so, yeah, pretty straightforward there. We'll go ahead and throw one of those guys home. And, yeah, we'll check this guy out. So, grip is a little bit small, but it's not terrible. It's a little smaller than I'd like, uh, especially for a big hand cannon, you know, pistol. You'd think the grip would be a little larger, but, yeah, it's a bit small. But, obviously, I'm not the target market. This is meant for younger nerfers, but, nevertheless... Still would have been nice to be a little bit bigger. It definitely wouldn't affect younger nerfers if the grip was just slightly larger. But, you know, all in all, it's not horrible. It just a, seems a little cramped. So we got a big top prime here. So we'll pull that back. So it is a big sliding prime. There's a lot to grab a hold of there. That's pretty cool. That's how you prime your blaster. And then why not? We'll go ahead and fire off a shot. Seems to have decent power. Not bad, but uh, yeah, there isn't a whole lot really to go over. You know, you have a little iron sight up here. There's nothing in the back though, so it's, you know, it's not really meant to line up your shot like that. It's a, it's a hand cannon. You just point and shoot. So you have your Nerf logo and your Fortnite logo painted on one side, but not on the other. But, you know, they do give you a couple different types of color plastic, so that's pretty cool. The purple and the orange is pretty sweet. I do like the gray handle color. I think the, the look of the blaster is pretty awesome. You have your fake prime back here, but uh, obviously it's a top slide, which is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and load up another dart and fire it off. Woo! So, yeah. I mean, there really isn't a whole lot to the blaster. It's just a large pistol, but, you know, we need to find out what this thing is doing over the chronograph and the range, so let's go ahead and take it outside and see what's up. All right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and put some shots over the chronograph with the Nerf Fortnite HC-E, or I'm just going to call it the hand cannon because it just sounds so much better. So we are shooting the other direction today because I want the sun to our back, so there's no lens flare and I should help you guys out a little bit and see what's going on. So sorry about the shadows, but you know, that's what it is. But here we go. Seventy-one. And somebody pointed out in my last mega review that I didn't say that the mega darts whistled. And yes, they whistle. All the original style mega darts whistle. They are it is a really cool feature. Something I forget about just because we've had mega darts like this for so long but it is kind of a cool feature 69 
70. So right on the elite average with those three. We'll go ahead and try a different type of Mega Dart. This is actually an AccuStrike Mega. These do not whistle, but they are much more accurate. So I do like these quite a bit. Oh, and those actually went further, but it got Dublit 70. Another 70, very consistent. 69. We'll go ahead and do a few more just for, you know, a good average here. 67. These definitely sim seem to go actually a little shorter. 63. 67. Apologize for the noisy kids, but that is what it is. Oh, that one flew. 70. 69. And last one. Woo, that one took off and went that way. 71. So I'd say 70 FPS average, pretty consistent. Go ahead and check out those ranges. So we have a few of them right here around that 31, 32 foot range. There's about four in that range, 31 to 32 and a half foot. We have a few more up here, just past 36, one at 38. That was one of the AccuStrike ones. This one just short of 38. A couple more right here around that 39 and a half and 42 and just short of 43 and then the furthest one all the way up here at 48 feet so you know pretty consistent fps uh, performance is right on par with your normal you know mega dart blasters so we'll go back inside and i'll give you my final thoughts and my thoughts on how we could upgrade this thing all right you guys so i think the fortnite hand cannon is you know, a solid pistol. It's a front-loading Mega Dart Blaster. There's really nothing too exciting about it. It's, I mean, you could call it a Mega Jolt Blaster. Mega Hot Shock would be probably more accurate, except this one is more of a, this is a obviously a top-style prime instead of a pullback, but I'm sure the internals are pretty similar. I'm hopeful that they are structured well enough to hold a higher spring load. I'm a little nervous that this may not be able to hold up quite as well as the hot shock but we might crack it open at some point and see what it's all about inside see if we can upgrade this thing a little bit definitely can upgrade it some we could definitely make it shoot elite darts half link darts something smaller is going to make this thing shoot further and uh, brassing it giving it a longer barrel obviously uh, that would definitely make it shoot further uh, we will definitely look at that at some point in the future but to talk about the review I think it's a solid pistol. The grip is a little small, but it's not horrible. Honestly, the thing that bothers me probably the most is the size of the trigger well. It's very small. The trigger is very, very tiny. It's kind of weird, but I'm guessing they kind of did this. They wanted to make the grip part smaller to obviously look like the game, but it's kind of like a caricature of a blaster, you know, big head, small body, but it is you know, very cartoonized and uh, it's definitely cool looking and it's only 15 bucks. I was able to pick this up at GameStop. I'm sure you'll be able to find it on Amazon and Target and Walmart, any of your local retail stores. I'm sure you'll be able to find this thing at some point in the near future, but I did pick this up at GameStop for 15 bucks. They seem to have them. So check that out if you want one right away. I'll put a link in the description box of where you can pick one up either at GameStop or on Amazon. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Nerf Mega Fortnite hand cannon. Smash that like button. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. And as always, peace out.